Well, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for joining me today on this lovely day, another summer's day. And we're kind of, we're here uh, February now, so it's absolutely a wonderful day. Uh, I better get out of the road before I get one over. But yeah, the main purpose of the video today is to discuss the things I love about this Spitfire 6. And um, we'll talk about sort of the main points, but there is a lot of, um, another white van man there, letting me through. Yep. Much appreciated. Thank you. What a wonderful day. Lovely countryside out this way as well. I'm quite fortunate I only live a couple of miles away from here. On these lovely windy roads and you know, lovely when the sun's out. Anyway, I'll diverse. So yeah, well, you know the, the main the main points on why why I decided because I did look at other bikes uh, at the time. I mean, I had this bike now since, well, last August time. Pretty sure that's when I was, so... Yeah, I was looking at other bikes at the time, similar, similar sort of thing, but nothing had. We'll start with the character of the bike. So number one is, you know, the character and the... Actually, actually the heritage, the CTM heritage. You know, they've been... You know, uh, they've got a lot of history since, sort of, 1971. Pretty sure it was when they first... You know, set, set up... Set up or whatever you want to call it. And there's lots of history there. So, um, you know, through their range of motorcycles and development of motorcycles. And now actually, that's one thing I'd love to do is, um, I'd like to have a look up there at their factory in, uh, in Bolton, here in the UK. That's one thing I, I do need to do. I'd actually like to go and do that. Try and get over here without getting crushed. <laughs> So yeah, well, that's, that's number one anyway. Number two is, oh, this wind. Number two is the pure sound of this, of this motor with these, uh, these pipes. Listen, I mean, listen to that. Probably can't hear it very well through the microphone, but it's absolutely, it's so addictive, all you want to do. I mean, I really did buy this to kind of like, at the time to slow me down a little bit and you know be able to go out on actually perfect like days like today and uh, you know enjoy just enjoy a ride out in the sun uh, it'd be nice if that once it wasn't so windy but I'm not grumbling and uh, yeah the, the number two is, the, the, is you know the whole enjoyment of the ride and the fun that this gives you Uh, that's one thing I love, uh, another thing I love, you know, and, uh, yeah, the character of the bike is, um, you know, second to none. Obviously, I didn't buy it for fuel economy, but uh, obviously, you know, it's not really a problem anyway, it's not something I wouldn't, wouldn't buy a bike, uh, you know, not something that I'd worry about too much on a fun, you know, non non everyday bike. But to be fair, it's pretty good on fuel. Number three is is uh, the fit and finish of the bike. You know, it's got high end components, Marzocchi forks, Brembo brakes, and um, it's absolutely wonderful. You know, the the, the paint. You have to see one to appreciate, you know, the fit and the finish of the bike. Um, you know, to appreciate the quality. I've put paint protection on here as well, so... Hopefully that'll keep the bike in good shape, the paint in good, good shape. So, that clutch is absolutely fine as well, like I say before, I've said before, I've had the clutch slave cylinder replaced due to an issue with that so the, yeah the warranty on the bike was it's all done under warranty so didn't really have any problems there so what are we on number two number three is I, I like the fact as well and a lot of you might agree with me on this one is 
the raw, the rawness of the bike. You know, I like, I like the fact that there's no fancy electronics. It is. I mean, obviously, on a, you know, ABS wouldn't go amiss. And this doesn't have anything like that. It's no ABS, no traction control, no ride modes, nothing. And I, you know, on this specific bike, I do, I like, I like that. That's something I, I like. Um, about the raw rod and the motorcycle and the back to basic sort of thing. Um, yeah. And then one thing I, I will say about this bike is the the gearbox is one of the best gearboxes I've ever I've ever sampled. Really, it is silky smooth. It is silky is an understatement. The gearbox is is yeah. You don't, like I say, you'd have to ride them to, to appreciate it. Now, obviously, when I ordered one of these, I hadn't rode one. So you're relying on reviews and, you know, well, like this, really. So I hope, I hope if you are considering maybe, you know, putting a deposit down on one, and I don't even think there's any more of these sixes available, but there's, there is other models, and they, they do share the same motor. You know, that it will assist you in your, your kind of you know, your thoughts on these and um, yeah yeah number four reason number four is I also like the idea <laughs> not that I'm lazy or anything but I like the idea that they'll come to your house to do the service I, yeah I understand it's a little bit more money but it wasn't a lot more money uh, and they'll come to your house at a time that kind of suits you and you know give the bike a service which I don't know if there's any other dealers out there that do that I've not come across any um, yeah and number five the number five another reason and another thing that I absolutely love about this bike is just how it rides and how it performs, especially round roads like this, it is completely in its element. And it's where this bike, you know, this, uh, it enjoys to be, really. It enjoys to be, if that's even a word. You know, feels at home around here. <laughs> go easy. There's some lovely roads out this way. And what lovely countryside as well. Lovely. Absolutely love This is what motorcycles all about. It certainly perks you up if you're feeling a bit down at all, you know, and just want to clear your mind. It's absolutely wonderful. It's, it's you know, it's, it's really good at doing that. You get a lot out of it. But if you haven't, you know, got into the uh, motorcycle, I highly, highly recommend it. A little bit of shite on the road here. I want to slide off. That wouldn't be good. Well, anyway, thanks for joining me today on this um, short little video. Hopefully, you know, it's been of interest to you. And, uh, like I said, if you haven't subscribed, consider subscribing. Hit that subscribe button. It'd be great to have you along. And I'll take a ride here. I don't really know where I'm going. Kind of lost a little bit, which all adds to the fun. So anyway, yeah, take care and I'll hopefully I'll see you on the next video. See ya.